now. One of them might be a little bit too spicy for you. The other one is definitely the future Pirate King. Please make some noise for Tess Skylar and Nyaka Nyaka! Oh my god, I just saw a sign that says Iñaki for president. What is that? Oh no, I wouldn't trust myself to do that. President of which country? I, I, I mean, I don't, know, I don't want to be president, Jesus. All of the countries. Oh god. Hello guys. It's so good to be here. Hi. I see a lot of familiar faces. I see uh, Luffy right there, Beppo right there. I see a Jolly Roger right there. I don't know Luffy. I see, uh, I see someone from Chainsaw Man here too. Oh my Yo, god! Yo, I love that show! We got, oh my god, I see a baby Luffy right there! And Chopper? Woo! Oh my god, Chopper, I'm your biggest fan! Another Chopper right there? Oh my god, look, look at all, look at all of you guys! Thank you so much! You know, I've seen you guys already, the pictures and the autographs, thank you for being here! Thank you so much for how everybody has received us. It's really warmed our hearts and we haven't stopped talking about it when we've been off. Thank you so much for all the love you've all shown. We really, really bow down to every single one of you for being here. We thank you all so much. How are you finding it? Are you guys having fun? Yeah, yeah. I saw camels. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Best experience of my life. <laughs> camels are the coolest creatures. They're like horses, but they can stand the heat. You know what I mean? And they race. They're great. I love the Middle East. What else did you do in that desert? Uh, uh, oh my god, I, I rode the, the boogie car. Buggy. Yeah, the buggy car. Yeah, he yeah, keeps yeah. messing up buggy's name. <laughs> yeah, buggy, uh, buggy. Yeah, I, I rode a car in the dunes really fast. I actually kind of like uh, flipped the car. But that is, not, that is not something we talk about. That is very Luffy coded though. When he told me, I was so proud of him. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, uh, Abu Dhabi, the Middle East, it, it has been great. I mean, we, I also went to the mosque and it's just the most beautiful place ever. It is. And uh, I mean, what is like a, what is like a place that I have to go that I haven't been yet? Have you gone to Yas World? Have you gone to the fastest roller coaster, by the way? We, we're planning we're planning to. Monday and Tuesday is the activity days. We're going to the desert. We're going to all the mosques. We are going to the roller coasters. Oh, good God. And maybe try some flyboarding. What? Yeah. Sea World! Yeah. Oh, don't work that. I think no, that's not, not on my one. list. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's on my list, it's on my list. Okay, so let's talk One Piece. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. Let's so, talk about One Peak. Okay, so on the best anime in the world. That's right, let's talk about One Piece. Luffy, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> so from getting uh, through the audition to the part when production began, how did you and the rest of the Straw Hats get to know each other? Like, what were your interactions like? Do you remember the first time we met each other? It was on a Zoom, like in person or, or like, the okay, whole, like, so like anything? The very first time I met Taz was on, on a Zoom call. And uh, that's when I met Taz for the first time. A health and safety Zoom call. Was it, yeah, it was a health yeah, and safety yeah, It was like a health and safety <laughs> There was like a PowerPoint and everything and we were just sat there on the Zoom call and we couldn't talk to each other for the first 10 minutes because we were watching this PowerPoint. Yes, yes, yes. That was the first time I met Taz. And uh, then the first time I met him in person, we were in South Africa and uh, we were just uh, in the apartment building where we were and then I saw Taz and uh, I hugged him and I was like, hey man, I'm Inyaki, I'm gonna be playing Luffy, uh, nice to meet you bro. And then Taz was just like, Inyaki, mucho gusto. And I was like, you speak Spanish? What? Oh my God. So yeah, that was pretty cool. 
that that day was actually it because we all kind of got there at the same moment. And I remember I, I got the keys to my apartment and I went upstairs and we we'd give, we'd been given this phone. And uh, in the phone we had each of the five numbers of each other. And the first person to call me was Jacob. And uh, I, I saw his name pop up and I was like, oh, wow, this is gonna be the first time I talk to him. And I answered the phone and he's like, hey man. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the supermarket to buy some shampoo. I was like, cool, all right, I'll come with. And then as I'm going down, Inyaki's there, Emily was there at the same time checking in and everyone's fresh off of like a 10 hour plane. And we look at each other and we're like, hey. <laughs> And we just each gave each other a hug, and then we went to that. But then we went, where we went to see Matt yeah. at the at the bar. Oh my God! Yeah, we went to. Um, so I have to tell this story about Taz. So the first the first time I met Taz, um, we went out for some dinner with all the straw hats, and we're just having dinner, right? And uh, Taz is playing Sanji, and we all know that Sanji is a very romantic person, right? And we were just at this restaurant, and then the waitress comes up to Taz, and she's like. Hey, can I can I give you my number? And I'm like, what? This dude really is Sanji. He's just like flirting all the time. Like I, I was like, just being nice. I mean, and like he got somebody's nice. number just like just being like this. You know? I'm just like, what? <laughs> I need your secret techniques, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Eh? <laughs> Riz. Taz Riz. The word Riz sounds so cool in your accent. <laughs> It's actually a very new term, in my opinion. Like I've never heard these terms being a millennial. So it's very surprising to me when I hear terms like Riz or, excuse the term, Gyat. I, d I don't get it. What's that term? I've never exactly. heard that term. He gets it. <laughs> we, we don't talk about Gyat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, okay, let's Kiki's move Kiki's more new ways than I am though. Kiki gets most things and I'm like, what's that? Uh, I, I understand the internet, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God, okay. Um, I think something that everyone would love to know is how far have you both, both gotten in the anime, One Piece, and which are your favorite arcs? Oh my god. I go first? No, you go first. Okay, 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 okay. So, currently in the anime, I'm making my way to Dres Rosa. I'm, I'm almost done with Fishman Island, and uh, I think that, that Dres Rosa is the one that comes next, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in the anime, I'm in Fishman Island. But I'm pretty much caught up with the whole thing because every time I go into social media, my entire feed is just One Piece content. So I've seen all the One Piece edits, I've seen all the One Piece theories. So yeah, like in the anime I'm in Fishman Island, but like I know what's going on in the manga right now too, you know? I know, I know that we're, we're in Ed Head and uh, well, Woo! I don't want to give spoilers, but like... You're up to date with the manga? I mean, not, not up to date reading wise, but yeah, I, I pretty much know everything that's going on right now. And I'm just making my way to Egghead. I'm in the anime right now in Fishman Island and hopefully I'll get to Egghead soon, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain from answering and my reasoning is because I when we were when I when I was reading when I first started reading it, so I'd watched it as a kid. It was on Spanish TV, like we used to get Digimon, Pokemon. Oliver and Benji, Doraemon and One Piece. Not in that order, but we used to get all of those shows and I used to watch it when I was younger. So I already knew a lot of the story by the time it came around. And as I started reading it again, I kind of jumped, I jumped around a lot because it was, it, there was very little time and, and, and a lot of information I wanted to be very sure on and, and have an opinion on for myself. And as I've kept reading it, I guess I, I have a process of trying to assimilate everything that's happening in a very different way than if you're reading it um, just for fun. Um, and I've very much enjoyed reading it, but when people try to test me, sometimes they'll come in front of me with a character and they'll be like, do you know who it is? I'll be like, yes, I do know who it is. And, they're like, and I, um, I don't like getting tested. So for, for, that, for that reason, I'm going to refrain from saying exactly where I am. Oh my god. Just you wait till Whole Cake Island, man. It's gonna be very uh, exciting. How do you know I have a go past it? You're a Whole Cake Island? I want Whole Cake Island, I want, I want cake island I between me and Taz. I know all right about that, okay? <laughs> okay, so as awesome as the Straw Hats are, there are a lot of prominent... There are other prominent characters in One Piece as well. Amongst the villains, 
Who are your favorites? Woohoo! It's hard exactly. because we know them as characters and personal people. Oh my god. As personal people. All right, all right. Well, not, not in the live action. In I, the have, copy, copy. I have some answers. Okay, so of course I love Buggy. That is like, you know, top tier, top tier villain. He's great. Mr. Yoko right there. He might find the One Piece before Luffy. I don't know. We don't know. You never know with Buggy. He's very unpredictable. But let's go beyond Buggy. Bong Clay the Goat. That's all I'm saying. Yeah! Bong Clay. Bong Clay. Bong Clay. Best in the game, best in the game. We like our crocodile too, but Bon Clay, oh my god. Bon Clay is good. Kaido is good too. The Gear 5 fight was super, super cool. Um, who else? Oh my god, you know what's an interesting pick? Foxy, yeah! Foxy, yeah! You know, you said the slow, slow, slow down, whatever the fruit is called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slow mo thing, the slow mo yeah, thing. Yeah, the slow mo thing, and then we have Afro Luffy. Yeah, that's pretty great. Uh, but yeah, Bon Clay, he's, he's the GOAT, you know, I just can't wait to uh, see Bon Clay. Akainu! Uh, oh, oh a, we don't talk about Akainu if you know what I mean. No, 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 there's some, uh, there's some tough background with that one, right? Yeah. What about you, Tarek? Uh, the Wheel of Donuts. Oh no. My answer is kind of biased, but it's also on a literary level, like I'm a buggy guy all day long. Man. I just, I, I have, I have a real, I have a real kinship and connection to that character. And the actor who plays him in the live action coincidentally. But if you take it on a literary level, from where he starts to where he ends up later down the line, it's... And the way that everybody also reacted when that happened, of how surprising yet sensical it was, that's a piece of long-term literary genius. So I love that as a concept for a character, but I also just love the character and I love who happens to play. Wait, can I say something else too? Um, Blackbeard? Uh, when Blackbeard is first introduced and he has um, this conversation about about pies with Luffy, you remember that they're like in this bar, you know, before uh, Skypea, and uh, they're you know they're like in this place, and uh, and then Luffy's like this pie is terrible, and Blackbeard is like no, it's great, and then and then it turns out that Blackbeard is like the main antagonist of like the whole thing. I just think that's genius, and I love Blackbeard so much, and his say ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. I love him so much. As we all do. We all love our captain, don't we? Yeah. And we all love our yeah, captain. Yeah. Thank yeah, you so much. Who is the captain? Inyaki. Inyaki the captain. Oh my god. Thank you, crew. I love you too, man. Oh, all my nakamas. We got a lot of loopies, a lot of choppers, nothing. Okay, so you both have definitely watched other animes, haven't you? I've watched a few more. Have you ever sorry, sorry. No, no, I was just gonna say yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so have you come across any character and been like, damn, I wanna play that role? Spill the beans. It's just an exposing thing to say out loud, isn't Spill it? Spill the beans. Because you're, you're saying not which character we like, which one we like to play. Play is a, is a strong word, isn't it? Uh, Yaki, you go first. Uh, <laughs> sure, uh, I, can, I, can play, uh, I can play Pochita from Chainsaw Man. You know, uh, yeah! I can play that one. Um, yeah. um, I mean, honestly, like, I feel like it's, it would be very hard to pick any other character in, in like anime wise like you know besides Luffy Luffy is just like he's the he's like the best main character in, in is, anime honestly like I, I just love him so much it would be so hard to pick a, a different one um, but I guess well I mean there are many good animes I'm, I'm, I recently started Attack on Titan and I think it's awesome and um, I mean I don't know what character I could play there, but I guess that would be a cool anime live action to be a part of. I also started the Promised Neverland, and that is also really good. Um, but yeah, for now let's keep it to Pochita. <laughs> or uh, I don't know, like some Pokemon, Psyduck. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You make a great Pikachu too. Isn't it? I was just yeah, about to say, really you make an amazing Pikachu. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, oh my god, I prefer Psyduck. He's my favorite Pokemon. He's just like, oh, I that all the time. His power is just like overthinking, so he's just like, Ugh. he's really funny. He's a, he's a cute duck, you know. I, I also like ducks, so. Uh, but yeah, Psyduck. Yes, that's my that's my pick, Psyduck. Um, I'm a really big Trigon fan. 
And uh, I got really um, into shooting when I was in South Africa. Uh, I, I was going every single weekend for, for a few hours and um, there was this guy there who taught us how to dismantle a gun and we would practice it every single weekend and we'd shoot at targets. And, so I, I just I just think that would be a really fun character to play. And I, and I just love the fact that he's a character that shoots to not kill, but is ridiculously good with a gun. And he's also like really quirky and fun, um, him. Or like, you know, Charmeleon. <laughs> Charmeleon! Oh yeah, Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. I see it. I've, some people have said that to me before. I haven't, I haven't had time to get into that show oh, yet, I but I copy it. that, I will. But... but <laughs> I, I see is that as well. Suggestion? Okay, cool. Which ones do you think? <laughs> no, yo! I'm gonna watch this video back once it's, once it's online and take note of all the suggestions that I hear. <laughs> okay. Who's like the who's like the the most uh, like like the biggest villain in the anime world? Who's like the biggest? Mahito. Mahito. Buggy's the biggest villain. Mahito. Oh, Mahito. Mahito. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, Jujutsu. For, okay. So I haven't started Jujutsu Kaisen, but I guess that I would like to play the biggest villain in, in anime history. That's like another. No. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I mean, why not? Why not? I will have to play a villain one day. I mean, I don't know who Mahito is, but uh, you know, just give me a villain role. Give me Mahito. a villain role. Huh? No. No, no, no. I can't, no. I can't really. You won't let me play a villain. Why are you pointing at me? But no, you don't want to leave me go say ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh wait, they want you to play Mahito? No, no, let's. No? I think I think we should change the subject. Okay, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, guys, next okay, question. Okay, I'll play Pochita instead. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mahito. Nah. Pochita. Yes. Sairo. Yeah. Charmeleon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> other than the two characters that you played, is there any character that you would have preferred playing? Other than the ones that you played, like you played Sanji, you played Lofi. No, from One Piece. Shush. <laughs> Shush. I, I don't. I, I don't think I can answer that out of respect for anybody who played their characters. Like, the, the everybody is so born for each one of the roles that they have, and I think everyone does so brilliantly. Um, I wouldn't even really like to get close to opinionating what I would have been able to do other than the amazing work that they did. Awesome. Luffy? Um, Luffy is great, but uh, you know, cast me as Chopper too, please. Uh, yeah. You would yeah. be an amazing Chopper, wouldn't he? Uh, no, that would be too hard to pull off to a Luffy and Chopper at the same time. Um, no, but uh, but yeah, uh, no, no, I agree. I agree with what my friend says. You know, everybody was just born for their characters, and. Uh, you know, we are just so grateful that we get to play them, and everybody's great at it. And I know that there is no better Sanji in this world. Like, I agree. This guy, like, wait, can I tell you something? Today, like, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday we were here a long time, right? And uh, today we woke up early, and you know what this guy did? He started to train because he is training kicks like all the time, so that when season two comes out. He like can do the best of the best. Like this guy, when we were shooting season one, he was doing eight hour training sessions. Like that, like not only he is the best person born to play that role, he's also just the most committed. So like, there's no one else in this world who could pull it off. Tell them to stop, tell them to stop. We all agree, we all agree. Same way with Nami, same way with Buggy. Everybody's just perfect. Well, he came with me this morning to train and he just busted out a little, what was the name of that flip you did? Oh, the aerial? The, he yeah, just I'm busted out. Thinking, we, were, yeah. we were in the UFC gym and in the octagon he goes, Taz, look. And I look around and he just goes, Pah! and pops this aerial out. He's like, you see? I was like, yeah, dude, that's awesome. I can't we, do that. We're training a lot for season two. We really want to do some really cool action scenes. Yeah. Oh, so they have started training for season two. Okay, what message did you guys want to bring with your performance in the OP live action? Like, what do you what do you want to convey from that performance of yours? 
take your time. <laughs> I mean, I guess convey is such a difficult thing because it's like, do you want to? Are we conveying through the character? Are we conveying through what what the act of choosing to play that character is? Through the character, um, as the love cook. Wink, wink. Love is a powerful thing, and when used widely and wisely, it can do great things. Oh Woo! Well, I really wanted people to look at Luffy and see a friend, you know? Yo! That was very important to me. I see Yeah, the, the, whole, the whole sense of Nakama, that was very important. And, uh, you know, just making sure that whoever watched the show felt that, I think that was, that was something that we were trying to convey. Just uh, the sense of friendship and adventure and, and fun, you know, and, and joy, which is what One Piece is all about. You know, of course there's the drama and there's all the um, very um, dramatic things that happen in One Piece, but really I think that the message about One Piece is that optimism is what gets us through that. So I think that's what we wanted to convey with our performance, is a real sense of, of friendship and adventure. He's gonna make me tear up. Okay, we're down to and the last... And he just, sorry, but he, he, he just, he, can, he embodies that on a, in a, I know you all know, most of you have met him, you can feel it through the screen if you, even if you haven't met him, but on a day-to-day -day basis, like one thing is to be that in public, and the other thing is to be that kind of when nobody's really watching. And he really is, like some days things would just be going wrong, or like it would be, you know, the shooting schedule's tough, you're up at three in the morning and you don't get home till 7 p.m. most days like it's not and anytime that any of us would be stressed out we just kind of look over and it'd be like hey guys what's happening and we'd maybe like we talk about it and stuff he's like and he just come out with the most profound piece of optimistic wisdom that none of us could have ever fathomed without him and really did embody that for each and every one of us in a, in a wonderful way that nobody else could have Why are you both trying to make me tear up? My makeup's gonna run! Okay, so we are now gonna take some questions from the audience. Yeah, let's okay. go! So, someone in the middle. Yeah, you. Yes, you. With the, with the, with the hoodie, with the black. Oh yeah, with the Naruto outfit. I'm a, big, I'm a very big fan of both of you two, and I really thank you for the great movie. I just want to ask you one thing, and that's, what's your favorite song or like theme in the One Piece like show or anime? My, my favorite like opening okay. song from the anime? Oh god, this is, this is so hard. Oh. Okay, so fun fact, when I go to the gym, I, I have an anime playlist, and I listen to anime Let's music. Go! So, so uh, there's a lot of options. Oh god. Jeez. Okay. Um. I mean, the, the recent one that they released for the Egghead arc, the All of Us. <laughs> that went pretty really good, but I, I want to go to like a more classical one. Um. I like the um. Uh, um. I also like the um. Well, what is this one? Don't encourage him, don't encourage him. That one, that one, um, yeah, but I mean, I guess we are, it's just like the most iconic one, right? Like, I don't know, how do you feel about this one, Taz? I grew up to uh, We Are in Spanish. And that, that song is just iconic for me. Juntos. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna sing through the whole thing in Spanish. But... <laughs> don't encourage him. You see what happened. <laughs> so it's six so you minutes for people friend. to take questions. And you're gonna take it out by singing? Yeah, that's right, right, right. <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> okay, let's have another question from the right side. The one with the chopper. Let's go. Yes. The one with the chopper plush. Yes. Huh? Oh god, no, no, no. 
It's not on. It's not on. It's hard to say. Shall we take a question from this side until they fix the mic? Uh, sure. Um, yes, you with the... Yes, you. I got it. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I got it, I got it. Both at the same time. No, Alright, hello, hi. Uh, this is my first time asking. Um, but I have a question for both of you guys, alright? Um, so, so anyways, uh, first, most importantly, Taz, why are you so handsome? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's not the question. That's not the question. Go, Taz, go. <laughs> okay, uh, no, first of all, um, Taz, I'm, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm aware that you, that you cook a lot for the cast and crew, right? So, okay, for Inyaki, what is your favorite dish that Taz has ever cooked for you? And Taz, what was the dish that you mostly enjoyed cooking for the cast and crew? Mm. Ooh. Can I go first or I go first? Thank you. Uh, by the way, does anyone here cook and loves food? Come on, guys. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay has a great quote, which is, cooking is the only skill that we use three times a day, every single day. Um, Unless you order delivery. <laughs> yeah, in which case you're kind of cheating the system, but... Um, I really, You know what? The, the fried rice with corned beef... Uh, we, I cooked that dish, don't ask me why, but I cooked that dish on repeat every day for like two weeks because we were trying to figure out how to make a bowl of fried rice look aesthetically pleasing because we wanted to put a spin on it and it not just be rice in a bowl. And um, I, 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 it, was, it was a simple dish that could, that could take so many different nuances and we, we, we spent so much time serving that to everyone. <laughs> But I really developed a kinship for that fried rice. And in the end, all the aesthetic things I was trying to do, we, we forgot about them, and it did a, just end up being like a bowl of fried rice. <laughs> so I, lo I love it for that. I love it for its simplicity. Um, there was this one time when Taz cooked a pink thing for me. I don't remember what it was. I just remember it was pink. Yeah, it was, it was a steak, and it had a pink sauce. And it was good, and I liked it. Yeah, that's my answer. I remember that. Pink stick. Okay, yes, you on the left. Hello. Hello. Uh, first of all, amazing job, both of you. I'm from Iran. I've translated the Mongol, if you remember. Thank you, dude. Uh, you're doing an amazing job. I wanted to ask, do you uh, can you give me us anything about each order, like any information? Is it? Uh, like you and Nagi. <laughs> you wanna know about Mr. Oda? Yeah! You wanna know about the legend? Yeah! The, myth? the Mr. Oda? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing about Mr. Oda. He's really nice. <laughs> uh, no, no, actually, he's like the, the funniest guy ever, and he's super kind, and he's a genius, but he's super humble about it, and uh, he loves to eat meat, just like Luffy. And uh, I actually told him that I was here with you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, I, um, he's, he's very happy. He loves Abu Dhabi too and the Middle East. Yeah, so um, he's a great guy. We love him. I can't really that much to that. He is a great guy. Okay, next question. Let's take someone from the front. Inyaki for president. You go. First off, sorry about the sign. Hope you become president one day, you know, like... Oh my god. <laughs> you got right. my vote. As president, the first vote. thing I will do is make everybody drink orange juice. That's my first thing I'm gonna do as president. Can I be vice president? Yes. Yeah. 100%. Um, okay, my question is, what is the thing that you are most excited about, about season two or any upcoming seasons? Oh my god. I mean, there's not much we can say about season two. Yeah, we can't. We, we, if we even try, we're in the realms of getting into trouble. So. But I'm excited about the action, baby! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! Yeah. No, and, but beyond the action, just like the really emotional moments that come in season two, I think. I'm just excited to, to, to get to do it again. Like, I think for all of us, there was such anxiety that when we left, I remember thinking, like, this doesn't feel like we're done. And, and you never know if you're actually going to get to go back and do that again. Like, the last day could very much be your last day. And I think we're all just very much looking forward to getting to go do it again. 
I'm looking forward to the eating scenes, you know what I mean? Just eat a lot of meat, and it's gonna be good, yeah. Okay, we have time for one last question. Um, okay, the one at the back with the spear, with Toji's spear. Hi. 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 With Maki's spear, with Maki's spear on the left. My left, your right, obviously. I'm confused as well. Hi, what's up? Well, first of all, thank you for uh, the excitement that you did for us in the One Piece Netflix live action. I don't want to ask uh, both of you a question. What was your favorite scene in the series? seen in the series in the live action yes man there's a lot of good ones um, I mean the most emotional scene for me was the half scene with Nami that was really emotional but okay so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you three scenes that I love okay I love the hat scene with Nami I love the scene where I say goodbye to Kobe and I love the scene where we fight Garp on the ship. It's the funniest thing ever. For me, it's those three. What about you, Tess? The scene that you and me did in, um, in the kitchen, in the bra here, when we talk about, um, when I talk about, like, one, when Sanji talks about wanting to find the old blue, and you again, much like you in real life, come out with the most simple piece of profound advice. Um, so complimenting. Along the lines of, why don't you do that? <laughs> and Sanji's like, yeah, actually, why don't I do that? And um, I just, that scene means a lot to me because it, like all blue is anything like, uh, sometimes when, when I, like, especially when I have children in front of me, I really like to ask like, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you're older? Because I think it's such a important thing to know what you want in order to, to then start trying to find how to how to get there and whenever they give me the answer that is what all blue is or at least to me like it's the anything that you want to do with your life and any one person wants to achieve and it every one of us knows how that feels to, to long for something that isn't quite in front of us yet and we're trying to arrive at and most of the time the answer to that problem is the most simple one of why don't you just go do that? I know that seems it. Thank you. Oh. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but those are, that's all the time we have. Um, but also, Inyaki, is there something that you want oh, to do? Oh my god, okay guys, I have a really sad story for you. Okay, so, um, so if you went to my autograph table, you might have seen this plushie that I had. Remember that? It was, it was a plushie, it was like two mariachis. If you don't know what a mariachi is, it's like basically, it was two like uh, little guys that had like a mustache and a sombrero. And I had that on my table and, and I lost it. And I, and I can't find it. So I was wondering if you can like check under your seat to see if it's there by any chance. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe someone has it. If you have it, maybe raise your hand. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Is or, there? Oh, there it is. Let's oh, go. Can, can, Please stage, please. So, so you can give it to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was really, I was really worried. They have names. It's, it's Pancho and Juan, and they have a really close relationship to them. And I was just worried that that I was not gonna find you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um. Thank you so much. Uh, what's your name? Omar. Omar. Uh, Omar. 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 Okay. So. I'm really thankful that you brought my friends back home with me. And to say thank you to you, I, um, I brought this cup that you also might have seen in my autograph table. It's a customized One Piece cup made in Mexico. Um, only the staff and crew of One Piece have this cup. And I want to give this cup to you as a thank you. Yeah! 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 
Do we have time to give one more present? Yes. Because I believe that my good friend Muhammad Khan gave Ianaki a present yesterday and Taz didn't get one. So from us, we brought you a traditional Arabic ghutra. Yeah! Do you want to put it up? No, it's a bad one. <laughs> you're gonna, you might have to help me. Let's do it. I'm so excited right now. Can you talk me and us through the steps as you're doing it so I can remember? Because it's recorded. So. Okay. <laughs> I know, but I kind of want to remember this particular moment the first time there's somebody tied over me. Make some noise! Thank you, man. That's so cool. Thank you so well. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Abu Dhabi. Thank you so much, guys. We've had such a fun time. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for believing in us. You know, us as actors, we always dream of things like this. And uh, it's just a dream come true for us. Yeah, and, and we're, we're, this is all really new for us. And, um, I think we couldn't have been luckier to have been involved with the most loving, enthusiastic, creative fandom that I think anything has ever had. And we've been so thankful to be with you on this journey. And I can't wait to continue this for as long as we can possibly continue it. And have relationships with you guys that last for the rest of our lives. So thank you so much for receiving us. Thank you so much for your, your attention and your love. And um, we'll see you soon, hopefully. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. One more time, Taz Skyler! Thank you! Yay. And thank you, and you for your for our host! Yay. Yay. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. What an amazing, amazing panel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ianaki's giving his security a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs>